Mergem acum într-o țară în care în decursul unei ore de filmare am experimentat și ploaie, și vânt, și frig, și soare. Toate anotimpurile într-o oră, nu înainte de a puncta un lucru însă. Numai departe de zilele acestea am văzut cum fermierii din Olt aruncă varza pe motiv că prețul este prea mic și nu au unde să o vândă. Și asta pentru că, 1. statul nu are o strategie de piață pentru agricultura românească, cu pregădere pentru horticultură, adică legume și fructe, și 2. fermierii așteaptă ca statul să le rezolve problemele din afacerile pe care le au. Ține de educație, de o strategie de țară, de o clasă politică în special care să gândească pe termen lung și mediu, așa cum o fac, de exemplu, chinezii. Iată acum un exemplu de țară și fermier care, spun eu, sunt de urmat. Am ajuns în ferma unui olandez pentru a vedea întâi un proiect pilot agrivoltaic foarte interesant, dar m-a vrăjit de la început modul în care fermierul își vindea producția de pere și mere plus alte fructe, legume și alte produse de la alți producători în magazinul propriu de la poarta fermei. Magazinul era plin, oamenii din Papendrecht veneau și cumpărau ca la supermarketurile de la noi tot ceea ce le trebuia pentru o săptămână. Pentru telespectatorii Agrojurnal promit că este o poveste pe care o văd savura. Ferma cu magazin la poartă și program pilot de cercetare agrivoltaic se află în apropiere de Rotterdam, într-o comună mică la periferia orașului Dordrecht în Papendrecht. This is a very interesting uh, example mm -hmm. of a business mm -hmm. making uh, apple and uh, pears here, mm -hmm. but also selling a lot of vegetables and fruits mm -hmm. which are not uh, Uh, the production of this farm, yes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is very important and, and the concept very interesting. We don't have in Romania such mm -hmm. uh, such business. So we can explain to the consumers as well and the spectators about this concept. For them it is very important to be very close to the end, to the consumer, to the customer. Uh, the taste is the first priority for them and they find that when they are close to the customer, when they hear from them, they receive their input, they can do their best with regard to yeah, providing the best taste possible. Merele și perele provin din ferma de familie pe care o vizităm astăzi și care are două locații, 9 hectare de livezi în Papendrecht și alte 25 de hectare în Benchop. Toată producția se depozitează aici unde suntem astăzi. De aici pleacă spre angrouri, supermarketuri și direct către consumatori, merele și perele produse de familia Os. They try to have the 10 most important apple varieties to, to produce them and also to offer them to consumers. You can yeah. see Iona yeah. Gold. Gold. Yeah. That's right. Iona Gold. Yeah. Iona Gold. Gold and delicious. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the best uh, sell? Yeah. Roland is uh, the best of us is, uh, is Elstar. This uh, is the Elstars uh, the here. Elstars. Yes, yeah. this is the Elstar. Very nice. Very nice. Mm. Yeah. Very good apples. Yes. Older people tend to prefer larger fruit and younger people tend to prefer a bit uh, smaller. Smaller? Yes. So it seems that uh, the larger apples, they are a bit uh, more soft, the, the, the flesh is a bit more soft, so that's why older people tend to prefer them, while the smaller fruit, they are a bit more crunchy, they have a different uh, texture. And the pears here as well from your production? Yes, yes, yes. Here we see a small, let's say, sample of the pears they cultivate. În magazinul fermei, familii cu copii, consumatori de vârsta a treia, toți vin să cumpără direct de la sursă fructe și nu numai. Fresh bite, fresh carrots, paprika, different yeah. kinds of uh, yeah, paprikas, gale, rot, groom, the different colors of the paprikas. Hoe zeg je prei? Yes. Prei. So lik, and long, mm -hmm. bloemko, yes, S salad, the different salad greens, cucumbers. Tomato. Tomatoes, oranges for juice. So people can buy either the whole tray or they can have uh, cartons of different sizes to take at home as much as they want. What's say more fruit? Uh, people who want to buy more fruit, let's say not one or two avocados for example, but a larger amount to do whatever with them, they can do it with these uh, buckets and, and in the end they also have an extra bucket. <laughs> and the aspersies do you add that we have a hele mooie Kaasrechten. Mm -hmm. Kijk, deze zijn iets. Als je een beetje. Iets, iets krom. Ja. Maar dan kan je een, een grotere hoeveelheid geven voor minder geld. Are they discounted? 
Uh, yes, that's uh, what he said, that uh, you can get a larger amount at a lower price because of the optical characteristics. Anual în Livada sunt recoltate în jur de 50 de tone de pere și între 60 și 70 de tone de mere pe hectare. Deci pe uh, septembr, and now at store, yeah. at cooling. And you have different sizes. Every cell of cold storage is about uh, 105 tons. Yeah. 150 tons of pears in every cell of cold storage. And the temperature here is between 0.5 and 1 degree below zero, and that's why you see that the condensation actually freezes. You have ice forming on the floor. What was the investment here? The investment is about, uh, yeah, if you calculate it on the basis of the pairs that are sold here, it's about 25 cents per kilo of pairs stored. Yeah. And that is, of course, the investment made in energy in order to actually keep the temperature here. Yeah. But then you have also the initial investment to build everything. A lot of uh, young people. Young people? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Saturdays is the lot of young people. Mm -hmm. As, uh, and door the weeks is a lot of men. You can see Apple. So the apples go in the water here. They are brushed inside the, the water to be cleaned. They are wet when they come in here, but on the other side of this uh, brass they get out uh, drier. În Livada Olandeză, la sute de kilometri de casă, am găsit-o pe Irina, o tânără din Republica Moldova, care a plecat să lucreze în Olanda de un an și jumătate. Bine ați venit! Nu mai ajuns aici. Am venit cu soțul. Mai întâi soțul am venit și noi după asta am venit și noi. Îți place să faci? Îmi place. Foarte mult. Ceea ce dorim să vă arătăm aici, în ferma aceasta, în primul rând, a plouat destul de tare. Dacă la noi este secetă și ne confruntăm cu seceta, aici este prea multă apă, de-a dreptul. Dar ce este mult mai interesant în această fermă este livada aceasta de peri, care este umbrită de aceste panouri semi-transparente agrivoltaice. Este un sistem care la noi, deocamdată, nu a pătruns. Se încearcă prin diferite locuri unde sunt instalate astfel de, de livezi, dar deocamdată este o tehnologie care este străină de România. We are talking about this system mm -hmm. and uh, the energy is producing this system and uh, this energy comes to the agriculture or not? They merge it with the energy produced by the panels in the roof and then uh, primarily they use it for their own purposes and the remainder goes back to the electricity network. Can you explain a little, a little bit you about mm -hmm. the system is here because uh, you come to the farmer and put the system here. It's yes. a pilot one. Well, it has been a collaborative affair. Just the, yes, it has been a collaborative affair. Our specialization as a company is the semi-transparent PV modules. We design and produce them ourselves and they are optimized in order to uh, enable the simultaneous use of the land for both agriculture and energy generation. What's the height of this? Uh... Is, uh, in the top in the knock is 3,80 mm -hmm. and uh, 3 meters is uh, the, the power. The system is designed in such a way including the height so that uh, you can uh, drive through here with the tractors they do normally. Also the spraying equipment that they use in the farm can fit under the system. So it has been designed in such a way as not to change anything in the way cultivation takes place. Momentan, sistemul pilot funcționează pe un sfert de hectare de livadă. Planurile fermierului sunt însă în extindere. Do you have uh, enough sun because now it's raining? <laughs> <laughs> it has been actually extremely wet since uh, last autumn, last fall, but uh, we are now, uh, let's say, uh, waiting for better weather to come. <laughs> so, you are satisfied with this uh, system? So far they have been very happy with the system, very satisfied. They judge this by seeing how the trees, the young trees that have been uh, planted here, how they are developing in size, and they already start seeing some of the trees, the first fruit, which is, you know, very quickly after the planning. So this uh, gives them a lot of confidence that this is going to go well. So we see here the two different module configurations that we use in this experiment. We have 40% transparent and 50% transparent modules here. And uh, the difference is basically that on these ones where we want more light to reach the crops, we remove a couple of cells, of rows of cells from the bottom of the module and a couple more from the top to create more open area for light to reach the crops. So here we have some slightly lower power, here we have slightly higher and 
the idea is to investigate what is the difference on the crop reaction and if that is justified, let's say, economically by producing less electricity. And uh, what's the results by now? Well, it's still quite early. As I said, uh, it's the first year of the experiment. Here they have uh, planted eight different uh, uh, sorts yeah, of, uh, of pears, so as to see what each individual uh, sort does under the influence of the semi-transparent water. And depending on the needs of the crop, different crop needs, different crop uh, uh, kinds have different requirements in sunlight, we can produce darker modules or modules that allow more light to come through and therefore satisfy the requirements of every specific farmer. The reason why this system is, uh, let's say, a good idea for farming is besides, of course, the addition of energy production in the farm's incomes, it is also uh, because we can offer protection to the crops against adverse weather conditions, whether they are uh, heavy storms in uh, winter, hailstorms, for example, who can uh, completely destroy a crop, whether it is uh, frost protection, uh, whether it is uh, protection against heavy rain, or in the summer, in the warmer parts of the year, against too high temperatures and sunburn on the crops. The installation is designed to uh, withstand the wind speeds that are, uh, that are as I say, prevailing in, uh, in an area. And it's also designed to sustain the snow loads that to be expected in a certain area. So the engineering of the installation is based on the requirements of the specific uh, location. Iar totul este digitalizat de pe telefonul mobil, fermierul poate afla oricând orice informație dorește. So, yeah, we have discussed already about the dual purpose of the system in order to uh, both produce energy and protect the crops from adverse weather conditions. Another possible uh, use for the system is to collect rainwater. That's one possibility of the system. Another is uh, by controlling the microclimate under the installation you can uh, reduce your need for agrochemicals, whether that is uh, pesticides or uh, different uh, yeah, uh, means that you use to control the health of the plants. Also, in many cases, I don't know what is the case in Romania, but for example, here in the Netherlands, you have farmers who need to buy expensive insurance against crop loss due to weather conditions. If you have such a system that protects your crop against these dangers, so you can uh, drive down or eliminate these costs for insurance. Proiectul de cercetare din Papendrecht este realizat în colaborare cu Universitatea din Wageningen. Here we have a sensor uh, that is part of the experiment set up at the University of Wageningen. This sensor is a light sensor. It takes the, the reference measurement, let's say, on how, how much sunlight would normally reach the ground. And then we compare these results with the sensors that are under the, under the panels to see the difference. Pe sistemul care a costat în jur de 200 de mii de euro, pentru cei 2500 de metri pătrați pot fi instalate inclusiv clase antigrindină, atât deasupra cât și lateral, astfel încât sistemul se poate transforma într-o seră care protejează inclusiv împotriva înghețurilor.